Uncanny Avengers number 23 by Jerry Duggan and Pepe Larraz. Rogue opens her eyes and sees Deadpool, asking him what happened. He tells her it was day night and she went to sleep early. She looks up and sees Wonder Man there as well. Trying as she might to figure it out, she's interrupted by Beast, who's super soaked to see his bro, Simon Williams. Beast thinks he knows what happened. Rogue's power acts like a battery and Deadpool's regeneration acted like a circuit breaker. The conversation quickly meanders into how Deadpool spent all of Wonder Man's money funding the Unity Squad. Meanwhile, back at Cable's hospital room, Synapse breaks in just to see what's in the future X-Man's head. Problem is, she reads nothing while touching his forehead. Touching his bionic arm, though, is a different story. Suddenly, she's running for her life in his dreams. First Sentinels, then she sees him near scores of headstones of Avengers and X-Men. Problem is that it turns out to be Cable's evil clone, Strife, kneeling near the unconscious X-Men. Synapse hijacks his central nervous system, forcing him to blow his own head off. Later, her inhuman grandfather, Shredded Man, tells her that she betrayed him. He was trying to save their kind, but she turned her back on the family. Everything he did, he did it for her. She objects and starts punching him, but he transforms into a mutated version of her from the future, telling her that she eventually came around to his way of thinking. She destroys the images and Cable awakes. Cable erased the artificial intelligence in his arm to make room for his mind. He didn't want Red Skull to have access to his mind-hopping abilities. She asks why he never told her that she was part of the 2087 future from the beginning of this title series, and he tells her that he never had the chance to train her, and that the future never came to exist. Turns out they both had a shadow following them around. Back in the room, he thanks her for the save, explaining that if Charles Xavier was around, she'd have been one of his favorite students. With that, he ports away. Back on the streets of the city, Deadpool and Wonder Man meet with a real estate agent in hopes of selling the theater to get some of his money back. The agent tells him that he can't help them, as former headquarters of superheroes are usually untouchable. He tells him that he could at the very least put on a show to get some money back. As Wonder Man leaves, Captain America pulls up. Deadpool tells him that he and Rogue have been talking about new ways to make the Unity Squad solve it again, but Cap tells him that Rogue hasn't recently been much of a friend of the cause. Meanwhile, Voodoo, Wasp, and Quicksilver reminisce and discuss their next moves while Rogue sits in her room. Staring at a picture of her former team, there's a disturbance in the room over. Prixat appears to tell Voodoo about some problems with his brother in Orleans Parish. Wasp, Quicksilver, and Synapse all sign on. They ask Rogue if she's busy, and she tells him that they're not going anywhere without her. And with that, this story is concluded. You know, this is still my favorite Avengers team. I don't know why, but this group of castoffs just give me, gives me what I want in a superhero group. What Captain America plans with Deadpool and what happens to Cable remains to be seen, but as long as this book lives to see another issue, the sky's the limit. It blows the current Avengers book away and is better than the all-new, all-different Avengers ever was. So what's to, be to become of it after a secret empire remains anybody's guess. I'll wait it out to see, though. For this one, I give it a solid 9 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it, spanning several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.blogspot.com or nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages, as well as a link to this very issue for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.